Now let's try this one. Um, this says you and your friend start jogging around a 2 times 10 to the 3 meter running track at the same time. Your average running speed is 3.15 meters per second, while your friend's speed is 3.36 meters per second. How long does your friend wait for you at the finish line? Okay, so we have a couple of things. This is our distance. We are both running the same distance. Okay, this is your speed. I'm going to call that V1, and this is your friend's speed, and I'm going to call that V2. Okay, and then it says, how long does she wait for you? So that's going to be a time. Okay, so um, let's, let's line it out. There's a couple things we need to do. We need to find how long it takes you to run. Okay, the next thing we need to know is how long it takes your friend to run. And then the third step is we need to find the difference between the two, which is our change in time. Okay. And you can find these, uh, step one and step two, in either order. It doesn't matter, but um, I'm going to go ahead and do me first because maybe I'm selfish. I don't know. So I'm going to write the things that I know. I know this distance. And this, is the dis this distance is the same regardless because you guys are both running the same distance. It's like a race. Okay. And then we have your distance, which is V1. And then you have your, or your, um, your front, your velocity. Sorry, I think I said your distance. So this is your velocity, and now we're gonna write your friend's velocity. And we need to find your time. And we need to find friend's time. And we also need to find so I'm going to do step one. Okay, I'm going to have my formula V equals D over T. I'm going to make my little triangle. Put V D T. We're looking for T. So we're going to have T equals D over V. I'm going to put my distance 2 times 10 to the 3 meters on the top and I'm going to put my velocity on the bottom meters on the top seconds or meters on the bottom seconds on the top sorry I'm going to cross out these meters cross out these meters and I'm going to get an answer. I got 634.92 seconds. So that's the T1, 634.92. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my friends. Okay, this is going to stay the same and we want our friends time so we're going to use this same formula, okay, you can rewrite this part on step one if you want, but it's exactly the same, okay? So our distance is exactly the same again. The only thing that changes is our friend's speed because our friend is a little faster than we are, but it's okay. We're better at physics. Okay, so I put my meters on the bottom again, my seconds on the top. These meters cross out. That lets me know I'm doing it right. Okay. And now I'm going to do 2 times 10 to the 3 divided by 3.36. And I'm going to get 
595 and 24. Now, your calculator is going to give you a whole bunch of decimals. Um, you can write all of those decimals if you want, um, but we learned with sig figs that it's not really necessary. And so, I always just like to round to two decimal places. I don't know why, it just makes me happy to round to two, but you can round to whatever you want. Okay, so I'm going to need to find my delta T. So I'm going to do my um, T1 minus T2. You can actually do T2. You should really do T2 minus T1 if you want to do the formula right. But then you're going to want to do the absolute value if you do it this way because your friend's not going to wait for you negative minutes. That doesn't really make sense. Okay. So we have 595.24 seconds minus 634 point nine two seconds and we get thirty nine point six eight seconds okay so your friend has to wait for you for like less than a minute so they're not that much faster than you but we are much better than them at physics so don't feel bad okay so these are this is our answer now make sure you put the units in seconds otherwise I have to assume elephants and your friend waiting 39.68 elephants for you just makes no sense at all. So um, I, hope these pro I hope these helped. Um, you get an idea of how to solve some e easy and medium and hard velocity problems. Um, if you need any other help, you know, you can always ask me in class. And of course, the key to your practice problems are online. So you can always look at those and I, I work out the answer. To I don't just put the answer so you can see how I did it. So hopefully all of this will help. If you have any extra ones that you really want me to work out um, and talk you through them, I can use the fancy um, LiveScribe pen to do a pen cast for you. So just let me know. Um, hopefully this is helpful.